אנו נמצאים בכנס איגוד המתכננים הפיננסיים שנוגע להשקעות אלטרנטיביות. אני כאן עם מר אנדרו סטון, מ... מונטרו פאנס, נכון? כן, מונטרו קפיטל מנג'מנט, כן, זה נכון, כן. כן, אתה יכול להגיד על החברה שלך? מונטרו הוא נכון ב-2010, כשהמטרה הייתה להגיד אלטרנטיב אינבסטמנט שהיו מעניינים לאנשים, ואז עבדנו על מנהלים ספציאליסטים בכל מיני מקומות, נטורי רזורסים, חלק care particularly for adults with learning difficulties and also in alternative finance areas as well yes and those uh, investments are an answer for the challenges in this day and age of the family assets investor long term yeah absolutely I mean there, there are you know so many people so much money to invest in the markets and yeah. people are looking to invest in sort of all the traditional ways but there are so many alternative ways you can invest through today's fund structures and so we, we have ideas that allow sort of you know extra earnings to be made higher returns better than the bank I mean, people can't make any money really from the bank these days And so we were able to give funds, you know, uh, which offer returns from 10% and our, our natural resources fund did 142% last year. So, uh, yeah, we've got a, a range of returns and a range of investments. You mentioned uh, investment in the house of uh, elderly with uh, learning difficulties. Can you... Please explain us about that because we don't have it in Israel, not at all. Yeah, it's very interesting, particularly in the United Kingdom. The government in the United Kingdom has written into law that um, adults with learning difficulties should be cared for in the community, not in hospitals, not in homes, not in big old institutions, but in small houses. And so we created a fund that invests uh, in buying homes. We have one big company that runs about 146 homes and we're buying more. And we provide care for adults ranging from Down syndrome and autism right through to those with very serious brain disorder uh, and the government guarantees the funds under law so we pay we paid the fees guaranteed and we do a better business than the old institutions they closed down all the old Victorian houses and they were costing huge amounts of money and we can do it more professionally better and and so it's it's for the client to invest with us they've got an investment with social responsibility but they've got an investment with a good return and so we're providing great care and great environment but also a good return for investors we talked about good return what are the percentage of that return annually okay we we aim to achieve 10% plus annually the fund has been running in, in its current format since 2014 and we've achieved 42% last year we did about 10% and that's our target to achieve more than 10% a year uh, and we will do that you know by consolidation we're the fourth largest player in the market in the UK but we only have one and a half percent of the market so there's a massive room to us go and buy more companies bring them in expand the business and therefore have better care more businesses, more profit, better for the clients. Sounds good. And now uh, one can uh, buy or invest in this fund? Yeah, I mean, most of the banks in Israel have accounts and they set up. And so we get regular investments from Israel already. Uh, and, you know, the, the banks just send us instruction, invest into our fund. Um, it's not a short term investment, but it is an investment with great potential uh, and a good solid. I mean, backed by property. We own all the homes. Um, and yeah, so it's, I mean, investors in, in Israel can invest in it and many do already. Okay, we mentioned together uh, natural resources. It, in the last few years, it wasn't a, a, a com, com, uh, convert uh, market for, no. for, for resources. So what are the major uh, points in this market in order to, get, to provide uh, yield as it did last year? Yeah. Last year was probably an exception, although, however, you know, we made 142%. We, we'd made a loss the year before, and that was we had to recover some funds, and, and we, had to, we got those funds back. And um, what we did was, that when the, you remember 2008, there was a crisis, commodity crisis. Uh, people didn't want commodities. 2010, sorry, more than 2008. And we went in and we bought assets. Uh, a couple of years after that, we're really struggling at the bottom of the market. Uh, so we actually own a couple of mines in conjunction with other companies. We have a refinery our own refinery and we basically want to produce the gold and sell the gold so we're making the profit both ways refine it as well and we actually have a mining operation in Tanzania and one in Guinea that is now ready to go you know we've raised all the money so far we've done all the groundwork and one of the reasons the performance was so great last year is that the gold in the ground was seen to be at least twice what we thought on the tests and and as we that is great and as we bring more of this gold out more profit will come
So here we are. And, and, and gold is our speciality. You know, gold, you're just buying gold. It doesn't give you any, uh, you know, a strict, it goes up and down. A lot of people hold gold, but we, in mining it and extracting it, and now we're looking for more investors to come in so we can go to the next stage and really pull this gold out of the ground. And anyone that comes in, you know, it's always risky, but the, um, the, the, the risk against reward here is relatively low. There's a lot of money to be made in this fund. Especially in Trump world, right? Is it the, uh, do you think that the gold will rise, the price of gold will rise due to Trump visions? I think as people want to buy more gold, then yeah. I mean, people are looking, they're running a little bit scared. And, but also Trump is, is, is also pushing another commodity drive because he's saying we're going to have massive infrastructure. And so commodities in general, because they're required to do this infrastructure building, then the commodity markets generally will go up. But gold in particular, because people are so saying, okay, well, Well, maybe we need to sit and hold something that's a bit stronger and of course the price has been depressed I mean you know a few years ago it was right up sort of around about 17 1800 dollars now it's sitting around about 1200 dollars there's a lot of scope for it and we can bring it out the ground at around 600 dollars so you know there's a lot of profit in this for our investors that come into the fund Mr. Tone thank you for interesting interview thank you for your time thank you